Yeah, yeah. We might see with the Ultimate Team stuff. Alright, here we go. FIFA World Cup and Ultimate Team. What are we getting here? Oh, Matt. All the... Oh, all the SPC objective cards. There's a lot of cards there, man. Party swaps as well. Including special player items. Oh, they just leaked Modric. They just leaked the uh, World Cup Modric card. In Ultimate Team. Unlike previous years when the World Cup was a standalone mode in Ultimate Team during the summer. Ah, the cards are the sick. What's it say on them? Just says World Cup Qatar. The Ultimate Team squad you're already building, so players can continue strengthening their squads and progressing. And what kind of World Cup content can? Oh, wait, did I work with Kim? At its simplest, Ultimate Team is going to be living and breathing the Why, World he Cup. got no links there, did he? World Cup limited time items that allow you to bring upgraded players from your chosen nation into your Ultimate Team squad. And of course, permanent World Tournament's best players across all nations. Sick cards, then. I like that, man. Heroes and icons who are World Cup legends of their respective nations will be available. Oh, the World Cup heroes. Everyone will have ways to Marvel heroes. Fandom with nation kits and customization for your LeBron James of soccer. Team. It's all going to feel seamlessly integrated with our entire World Cup experience in FIFA 23. This all sounds Yeah, amazing. that's sick, man. Bring it on. I'm looking forward to it. Ultimate connection to the tournament throughout FIFA 23. World Cup swaps. It's supposed to be a path to glory as well. So it's going to be good, man. Only comes around every four years, though. Special content in Ultimate Team. We're excited for everyone to play in the World Cup free in FIFA 23 on November 9th. All right, lads, that's it. Let's go. Yeah, I'm hyped. Ready to go for World Cup mode.